Boom! What up, Solar and only here. Back doing some more League of Legends action. Playing some more of those busted top laners. Oh, what are you doing, guy? I'll take that trade. But yeah, we're against J4 this game. Playing some Talon. What's he up to? Uh, we're going for the Duskblade build. I'm trying to get to level 2 first, so I go all in. So yeah, the whole goal here is to get Duskblade. Duskblade is actually broken. Uh... On YouTube, this is probably after you saw the... What? Oh my god, dude. That auto was the passive procker. That's where you kill him with the passive proc. Oh man, that was so much damage. Feels bad. Coming. Coming. Um, gobble that up. Oh, beautiful. I'm here, dude. Great work. I got double buffs there. Beautiful work, brother. We had a... Oop, let's not run into this. We had a nice easy play on top lane that we could have made too. But I'll take that as well. Uh, I think this guy's going to TP back. Am I safe enough to wave clear once? just want to clear this wave real fast. You can auto Q. Whenever you're in close range with your Q, it does more damage. You can see the range right here. So it leaps to the farther range. And the closer range it uh, crits. I haven't been playing Talon too much. I spammed out like 30 or 40 games of him when he first came out after the rework. I, I was in love with the champ because I, I like just getting mobility boots. You get this as well and it used to give movement speed and you just run around the map killing everybody. I like champions with that type of playstyle. I don't want to use my E over this wall because it puts it on cooldown and I might need this if uh, Maokai ganks. Although Maokai is all the way down there. Uh, this wave slow pushing to me. Yeah, all we got to do is wait for him to walk up. This is why I set this freeze up because he walks up to queue these minions. Walk away, come back in. Ooh, thought you were going that way. He's gonna look the queue over to this. Bloop. Easy peasy. That's why we set that freeze up. My jungler was topside. If I let the wave just keep pushing into me and I don't shove out, he's gonna have to come back eventually. I mean, he's going real slow with it. I think he was doing like a jungle camp or something. Going into the dusk blade. See, now you don't need the 1300 gold. That's such a huge. Oh man, I love that so much. One of the best things that they did with this item was the how they changed the like the build path. You used to have to get Serrated Dirk and then save up 1300 gold. Now what happens if you like back in the early game, you can just get long swords, man. If you have 350 gold, you can buy an effective item that's going right toward your build path. Like uh, it's just, it was such a nice it's a small a small type of a change, but it's so impactful in the game. It's really important. I like it a lot. Uh, when he goes for this cannon minion, I think I'm going to jump on him, get really aggressive. There's that damage. Come out! Give me it! Well, you should never turn like that, brother. That was dumb. <laughs> After three hits of a... Uh... What's he up to? After three hits, I can uh, pop that bleed on him with my passive, and it does an absurd amount of damage. That's what I was trying to get on the early game play, but he just got out of range, so I couldn't get it on him. These roams without mobility boots. <laughs> Super feels bad, man. I might have a nice play here, though. Oh, get off me, dumb minion. Whew. Splashing for that auto. Oh. I can jump this and Q. Oh, didn't even have to. Get me out. Damn, dude. I was flashing for the auto, but I guess I had him. <laughs> Wasted flash. EU flash. Let's update that meme real quick. <laughs> uh, I can probably kill the guy. I have my Duskblade proc. Oh, that kind of sucked. Again, I kind of got an A click in. Okay. I'm just going to walk away here. My Duskblade is up, so... I don't know what you think you're going to do. <laughs> Come on. Can he kill me with ult? 12 seconds later. What? What? Does the return do no damage if you die? Come on, that's stupid. Ares does damage. Got it! Come this way, come this way. I'm 
come here. I don't have anything to get over yet. I'm here, brother. Hold up. No way I got hit by that. Lame. Got him! Let's go, baby. I'm telling you right now, my talent's nice. <laughs> I just like the roam plays that you can make. Because all you have to do is worry about shoving out your lane and then you roam. Shove out your lane and then you roam. And I do that shit every time anyway, so not when I'm playing a champion that can roam extremely hard and has good wave clear. Like, I essentially W, or yeah, W and like half the wave's cleared. I heard that talent is responsible for 25% of all first bloods. That's, that's pretty true. <laughs> Where's that meme from? Dyrus' channel, right? I'm a little nervous about walking in first. Okay. I don't want to get kited out super hard, and that's what happens if I walk in first. Let's back. I got a ton of gold right now. I can go for the next lethality item. You just need to get armor ASAP against someone rushing lethality. Like, it's... It's what you have to do. If you don't do it, you're going to lose the game. That's straight up what happens. It's like playing against a Zed in mid lane. He rushes an armor pet item. Like, too many people I see. They go against a Zed. Zed rushes Serrated Dirk, and they don't come back to lane with a cloth armor. This is penetrating 10 of your armor. Just, we'll use the round numbers. Don't worry about the scaling. It's penetrating 10 of your armor. This is a this is an 1,100 gold item. If you buy a 300 gold item, this gives you 15 armor. Buy the 15 armor. <laughs> like... That shit makes me so mad. Especially in this matchup. Buy Ninja Tabby. Like, you can get these armor items that build into things that you're going to get later on anyways. It's not like you're screwing, you're, you know, missing something up. Someone dives us? I'm going. Coming! Alright, never mind. Oh my nipples. Gets out with 15 health. I literally didn't get to control my champion. <laughs> Come on, man! I got knocked back by the vein, and then after that, it's like I didn't get to do shit. Oh, man. Jump that. Oh, my God, please. Oh, let's go, baby. Come on. Let's go, baby. Get it, Blitz. Ooh, where's my pet to at? Where my Penta at? Come on! Dive him! Let's go, boys! <laughs> Give me that shit! <laughs> Don't, you asshole! You! <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. Show me! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> what a game, baby. Penta kill. I haven't gotten a Penta in a little while, man. That one was kind of gifted, so... I you know, I know this game be like, oh my god, Mike, you only got that penta because like, I gave it to you. I know, my friend, I know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think Talon's absurd right now. Um, other items that you can build after this, you can go into like Ravenous Hydra and stuff. If you want some form of lifesteal, death stance type stuff. Or you can just go like heavy AD and go like IE. Because your, your Q in close range is already critting. It's 100% chance, right? So you don't need an, an additional crit item. Because most times when you get crit items, you want... Or when you get IE, you want another crit item before that, so you can boost the effectiveness of that double damage, or almost triple damage on the IE effect. But yeah, so you can get IE, and then your Q does a jillion damage. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. Come get lost with me. Come get lost with me. Just run away with my dog.